Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about being a man or woman of your word, being your word. Why is this coming up? Because it's Saturday right now and I have a whiteboard right here next to me. It's got all my goals on it. And I said to myself, I'm going to post two videos a week, two YouTube videos a week. And I've had an interesting and busy and awesome week, uh, a couple of good breakthroughs, but nonetheless, the reason why is it's dwindling down the end of the official week, Sunday to Saturday. And in order to be my word, I get to make a video right now and post it. So why is this important? Well, why would I just not post one and say, oh, whatever, I'll just start over next week. Well, that's the very essence of this video. And this one's actually really, really important because what I've learned about being your word is this. This is all about follow through. It's all about commitment. It's also it's all about meaning what you say and saying what you mean and that your words have power and that the more that you say something and you follow through with the commitment that you made to yourself, nobody else, the stronger your words get, the easier it is to follow through. And then honestly, this is where self-confidence comes through because if you think about it, every time you say to yourself, of course, we'll use fitness as an example, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna get started next week and you don't do it. What you're doing is you're sabotaging the shit out of your self-confidence because when you say something and you don't follow through, the next time you say something, and it doesn't even have to be the same thing, it is just in general, you don't even believe yourself. So your willpower, your, your personal power, your ability, your willpower, it's all the same thing. Your ability to follow through and have confidence in yourself that you can complete something that when you say it's gonna get done, it's gonna get done, it dwindles, it completely vanishes. And little by little, again, what this does is not only screws your self-confidence, it actually screws your self-worth because what you're also saying subconsciously to yourself is, you're not worth it. I'm not worth uh, following through on my vision. I'm not worthy of, I'm not worth it and worthy of building this life and this vision that I have for myself because I can't even follow through on the simple things. Now, it's not an opportunity to shame yourself. So that's an important thing to say. If you, you know, cause we all do it from time to time. Say you're gonna do something and you don't do it. It's not an opportunity to shame yourself and beat yourself up and, and tear yourself down. But if it becomes a habit and it's consistent, then it really screws with not only your confidence, your self-belief, it also screws with your self-worth. And really, we only allow ourselves to receive and create in this life to the level of self-worth that we believe that we have, not on a conscious level, on a subconscious level. Because on a conscious level, you're like, yeah, of course I deserve to have a Ferrari fall in my lap. Now, subconsciously, there's no way that you believe that if you're someone who uh, is consistently breaking them their word to themselves. Again, nobody else. This is about you. So it's very important that we follow through with our word. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, even if it's something small. As a matter of fact, if you're someone who breaks your word often, what I have found is two things. One, it's better to not declare anything. Don't make a task list. Don't say, oh, I'm going to do this. Don't say, oh, I'm going to start this. Don't even say anything. Don't even put anything out there. You're either just going to do it or you don't. And the very fact in the matter of you not saying anything and then if you do do something great but if you don't it's not going to harm you because you didn't really declare it now again if you want to build self-confidence in yourself you want to start building that positive momentum what i recommend is you start small so it could be something as small as well i'm going to start meditating tell yourself you're going to meditate for three minutes a day three minutes is nothing you know you spend time on social media everybody does it for more than three minutes a day i promise you that if you have social media on your phone and even if you don't i'm sure you watch a show or play games or something uh that is quote unquote unproductive i don't believe that stuff's unproductive because it's all about balance but you get my point make it something so small so easy that you follow through this is how you begin to build self-confidence this is how you begin to build self-worth this is how you begin to build momentum in your life and these little actions these little follow-throughs that you do they end up building up your willpower they end up building up your confidence and your self-worth so just like when you don't honor your word when you declare something it works the other way as well when you start following through on the little tiny things it starts building your confidence you start gaining momentum it becomes easier and then you can start putting on bigger things on top of your plate so it's very very important that we follow through with what we say because the words really do have meaning on an energetic level 
I'm sure you you know noticed already you know my my Instagram is just straight fitness stuff because I realize you know it's a marketing thing it's a um, you know a branding thing right that's my coaching is um, you know what I do on Instagram but also I do coaching you know lifestyle life coaching and stuff as well and my YouTube seems to be turning more into a personal development spiritual thing although that being said it's funny i'm um, signed up for this new gym today and it's a beautiful gym it's called the compound uh lifting club in san diego it's beautiful and um great place to film content so i am going to start doing some more like lifestyle workout vlogs too for fitness but i digress my point being is that my youtube channel is a lot of this stuff it's about really personal development and spirituality and then health and fitness mixed in there while my Instagram is mostly fitness so I just bring this up because for you this message is to follow through on what you say and if you're someone again who has not been practicing the habit of following through start small start with something small you know it doesn't have to be really big I'm gonna drink one extra glass of water today or I'm gonna drink uh, if you carry a water bottle around, I'm gonna drink three of these water bottles a day um, just follow through with that see if you can do that for one day just make it one day that's the key is don't make this stuff difficult in the beginning you know I I actually disagree with and I'm actually reevaluating some of my own goals for my business and things like that I actually disagree with the whole like make this grand amazing vision like you know you're someone who makes eighty thousand dollars a year don't make this vision like next year I'm gonna make ten million dollars right and it's the whole like you know make these goals really big and then if you fall short I don't believe in that shit I actually think that's really not good for the reason I'm saying is you want to until you it's an interesting thing so I, I do think that's a good idea I think it's a great idea to set goals bigger than you're used to but only if you have the momentum and success of the past of fulfilling smaller goals if you're not good at fulfilling any goals at all don't set something super crazy set something small now when you have that momentum then you can shoot for the stars and then I think it's a great idea that okay I made you know 95 grand last year next year I'm gonna make 300 400 500 grand but if you have worked up to that 90 grand and you have like really put in the time and effort to be a man or a woman of your word and you have some confidence and some good momentum going and you're ready for some big breakthroughs go for it aim for the stars but again if you're someone who has trouble keeping your word start small doesn't have to be something big doesn't have to be something crazy just do it little by little so quick little video for today in order for me to honor my word and continue the positive momentum in my life and to share this message with you that for you in order to build confidence and self-worth and start manifesting the dreams the vision that you have follow through follow through mean what you say say what you mean watch how magic starts to happen look for these synchronicities to start to pop up uh, the last thing I will say popped into my mind right now is what you're saying to the universe on an energetic level is that one I'm worthy look I'm ready for the next level I'm ready to receive because I'm showing up for myself I did what I said the universe takes note of that stuff man so you're sending a signal you're showing up you're improving your self-worth it's all intertwined uh, but thank you so much for watching thank you for listening I hope this was of value to you please like subscribe comment all that good stuff uh, it helps the YouTube algorithm because uh, my clear and honest vulnerable intentions is to grow this channel as big as it can be um, of course I want to build a following and an audience but more importantly it's about impacting as many people as possible the best way to do that push all the buttons uh, and it makes you know all the stuff in the background the algorithm uh, happy so thank you so much again uh, love you appreciate you and until next time peace Thank you.